Oh, hey there. This is Nick from Quicksud.com, and today I have for you a premium session lager from Full Sail Brewing Company. Now, a little bit about this uh, this beer here. Uh, the Full Sail logo actually has the number 47 on there, and that's very important to the brewery because uh, they're very proud to be an employee-owned company, and the 47 signifies the 47 employees that they divided the company uh, and uh, gave ownership to. So. It's important to the brewery, therefore it's important to me, so uh, cheers to them. Now this is a, uh, a pre-prohibition style lager, which means that uh, pre-prohibition uh, lagers were known to be tastier entities. Uh, more uh, full-bodied, uh, maybe pack more of a hop punch, uh, so this should be a tasty beer. It comes in a stubby 11 ounce uh, bottle and it has 5.1 alcohol by volume, so right on the brink of actually being a true session beer. The Full Sail Brewing Company comes to us from Hood River, Oregon. Uh, never been, but I understand it's a beautiful place uh, for sailing, go figure. The bottle cap is, uh, you see the, the cool session logo there, and uh, right on the, the cap it says tools required, so right away we know it's not a twist off. Let's pop it open and see what it's all about. And the inside of the ball cap actually has a, a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. So if you pick up pick a six pack with your buddies, uh, you can play a fun game. Uh, right here I got scissors. So I'm picking up some uh, light bread notes. It smells like a tasty lager. It definitely doesn't have that Budweiser smell. It's, it's something more, uh, a bit more pleasant. Let's pour it, get a better nose on this. It's pouring a, uh, a pale yellow color. Nice bubbly, pure white head. And a lot of carbonation. Wow. Looks like a, uh, almost looks like a ginger ale. If you can see that. Let's get a better nose on it. Yeah, definitely getting some uh, some malty uh, aromas mixed with a bit of a grass or a leafy uh, smell. Let's give it a taste. You can hear it bubbling. Just as expected, this is an easy uh, easy to drink beer. Um, Nice and well balanced, not too malty, not too hoppy. In fact, very little hops. This is just an easy to drink beer, very um, kind of thin carbonated mouthfeel, which makes you want to take another sip. Uh, it drinks almost as easy as a soda. Very carbonated, very refreshing. Uh, flavors are not overbearing. It's a, it's a great session beer, and now you know why they focus so much on the word session and not so much on their actual brewery name. It's slightly uh, malty, slightly hoppy, and I'm almost getting a lemon zest uh, zing to it, which is uh, quite refreshing and, you know, quite tasty. Final thoughts, this is a great, uh, you know, session beer. Uh, clocking in at 5.1%, this would be a great beer to bring to a friend's house. I, I think it would pair well with uh, some great standard American foods, hot dogs, hamburgers, maybe even a salad. Could be, a, it's definitely a summer beer, but can also be happily enjoyed, uh, you know, in the winter months. The main point here is it's highly drinkable and very flavorful. The more sips I've had, the more I'm noticing the sort of the lemon citrusy zest that it brings. And it makes me want to take another sip. This is definitely uh, more of a fuller body, more flavorful beer, and uh, it's a refreshing alternative to thinner, weaker brews out there. So. So if you see Session Lager in your local grocery mart, pick up a six-pack. They're affordable, they're, uh, they taste great, and they go down easy. And who knows, maybe after a few of these, you might win a game of rock, paper, scissors. Cheers, everyone.